What's up guys, Rich UX here from richandniche.com. Today I've got a killer clip for you. Every digital marketer, every digital marketing consultant needs to watch this, check it out. As a strategic consultant, your advice has value. Your experience has value. I'm not sure your experience, but that to me is worth something right away. And so when I offer consulting to people, what it looks like is a period of questioning where I go through dozens of questions and I ask them about what are their goals, what is their brand uh, goal, what are their digital goals, uh, what are their content goals. I like to do those three, like brand, digital, content. And that allows you to sort of create a framework of A and B, okay? When you work with someone like a consultant, it is simply defined as taking someone from here to there, A to B. You should be paid to do that, right? But mm -hmm. first, you must address with them what is A and what is B. So what do you have now? How many customers do you get per month? How much money do you make per month? And how much do you want to make per month? Right? So I recently spoke to this guy um, about the fishing website. And it was very simple. I just said, how many fishing trips do you take people on per month? He said, 15. Okay. Every other day you do one. How many do you want? 30. If he had said 500, I think I would offer different advice than for 30 or I would do something. So I think you have to start with the goalposts. Where are you now? Where do you want to go in the future? Where do you want to be in 12 months? Where do you want to be in three months? As a consultant, it's a question-based job. You don't just start hammering out websites and ads. You need to first set the parameters of success. What that allows you to do is quantify the distance and value of A to B. If the fisherman has 15 fishing trips, each worth $500, uh, don't do math on live stream, $7,500 a month, and he wants to go to 30 times 500, that's 15,000 a month. That's $7,500 a month. I like to say, consulting work last 12 months. So 15,000 a month growth or 7,500 a month growth times 12 months a year, it's going to be about, you know, um, $90,000. Mm -hmm. So you take like 10%, 15? Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. So now it's like, well, don't you think we should probably spend about, well, you may get into the question, well, how much do you want to spend on this? And they're like, well, we don't know. We're not the expert. Well, I recommend you spend 9,000 to make 90,000 or 18,000 to make 90,000. Or even if you said this, do you want me to guarantee that you make it? Because we don't always make it. Not everything we do works. Not everything we suggest works, right? But if you said, listen, I can do the $9,000 project or the $27,000 project. I believe the $27,000 project will absolutely reach your goals because that's going to include a brand new website with a funnel built in, a nice transaction funnel, a great lead generation capture system. It's going to include email marketing, five to 10 emails or whatever it takes. It might have some SMS automation. I'm going to build you five great videos, which are called conversion assets. And we're going to run, you know, 6,000 of that over 12 months on a local Facebook ad. I just made all that up, but you get the sense. If I had said the $9,000 project, what are we gonna do? You wanna run one Facebook ad in one video. Is that gonna guarantee you get there? No, but maybe they would say, well, it might get there. So if you wanna go to the $9,000 route, to you, man, like I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. As a consultant, I'm here to give you some options. Mm -hmm. Now, now, if you said, well, it's going to cost 90000 what is the point of that, really? It's too expensive. Yeah. Because 
you'd have to say, we're going to actually, you know, get 500 new clients with that. It's like, oh, don't be afraid to tell them about the very expensive option. But the problem is at our level of experience, the solo digital marketing consultant in 2021 is simply not robust and experienced enough to charge uh, six figures in most cases. So start with a conversation about money. If you can't talk about money, you're going to struggle with the entire relationship. And I think it's important to be really confident when you speak about money. Mm -hmm. Now you ask more like, well, what should I do specifically? Like I said, once you know what the budget is, you offer different advice. And so you yeah. as a consultant should know what things cost. So if you want to outsource things and don't want to do it themselves yourself, or you want to do it yourself, it's two different situations. If you're going to do everything yourself, you can charge whatever you want. Maybe you don't know what to charge. So what I recommend is you go to Upwork or you go to some other job related site where you can hire a freelancer. You go to my network and you talk to people with certain specialties and you say, how much do you charge for a website? And they're going to say $4,000. You remember that number. You hope you know that person's probably better than your making websites. So when you talk to people, you always say, oh, websites cost $6,500 or websites cost $5,500. So you put on your margin and you know in your head what things cost. Okay. Uh, how much do you charge for Facebook ads, Jovin? Oh, I charge, you know, $2,000 per video. And then I charge a thousand a month to manage your campaign. If you have multiple campaigns, it goes up by an up. So, okay. So it's, you know, 1500 a month over six months or something like that. So you speak to someone, you say, I charge 2,500 a month for Facebook ads. And if they want to negotiate up to you, I don't like to negotiate typically, but it often happens. And you say, okay, I'll go down to 2,200 calling up Jova. You say, Hey, I need Facebook ads, man. You know, so that's the way to do it. A to B, talk about money and know your prices. Be a friendly face. Be confident in what you say. Don't try to, don't feel bad if they say no and don't, don't get attached to the client. Just the less you care, the easier it is to sell. And for those of us who need money, that's always a challenge. We're trying to like, oh, we need this. We need to close this. It's a lead, right? So the real answer is never stop filling your pipeline with leads. So you don't give a crap if you lose one or two of them and you can firmly say your pricing and you can firmly be firm with people who are like, oh, you don't want to tell me how much you make? I don't think I'm the right marketer for you because I help people grow their revenue. And if I can't know how much you make today, I, you know, probably they don't make enough. They don't make a lot. That's why they don't want to tell you. People who make a lot of money, they don't have any problem talking about it because they're just looking to double it. Everyone wants to double their money. So they're like, yeah, I'm making 50K a month and I want to make 100K a month. You following me? Yeah, that was a very good answer. Um, only thing I wanted to know is, so, so I know what to tell them um, about the money and everything. What I wanted to know more is, should I focus now on Google Ads? Should I focus on Facebook? Should I focus on... Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, my friend, that is the job of the strategic consultant, right? Okay. And it's like, you have to know yourself what this brand needs, because how can I tell you what they need until you speak to them, right? It's like, you have to start following the trends of the industry. You have to have confidence in your ideas. What do you think they should do? I bet you your intuition is correct. I mean, what I'll tell you is this. Google ads are the most expensive because they're intent-based advertising. It's much more valuable to find someone who searches a keyword than it is someone who's just scrolling Instagram. So it goes Google, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That's how it goes in price point. So if they're poor and they don't have a lot of money, maybe they got to go to TikTok and Instagram stories. If they've got a fat budget and they have a very precise keyword that they know people are searching go on to Google ads, try them all and offer that. You could say, Hey, we can either go intent based advertising or we can build a content and social campaign. We could do them all and see which one produces what kind of results. I mean, I've done all of those formats and I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. And that's the funny thing is like, 
when you're a consultant, you're not necessarily an expert at running ads. I mean, I've got 19 year old Joven here who's been teaching me how to run TikTok ads and making better ads than I can. I mean, he's got less experience than me, but because he's focused in this one area, the skills are building faster. And so as a consultant, I just try to be more of a generalist who has an understanding of the general industry is what's going on, what's available. And I try to give my clients options, A, B, and C. What do you think makes sense for your brand? I don't choose everything for them. What I might, what I might do though, is if they want what I would call sort of a strategic digital marketing consult surrounding the customer journey, what that would look like is you lay out the eight steps. And if you haven't taken my course, full stack marketing funnels, that's what I would recommend. It's like awareness, engagement, subscription, conversion, excitement, core offers, advocacy, and promotion. Those eight steps are taken by all customers. What you can be a master of, what I believe I'm a master of, is sort of designing that experience. So for me, it might be like, you're going to find awareness via YouTube. You're going to engage people in the comments and drive them to an offer of a lead magnet. They're going to subscribe their email and they're going to receive an instant offer and convert. And there's technical aspects there, right? And what that is, is you become a customer journey designer, a CX specialist. And, and that's the thing. I can't tell people what to do, what to specialize in. But that's really a beautiful skill to have is to like, hey, you know, the reason why your business isn't growing is because you have no offer. You know why the reason your business is growing? You have no awareness. You know why you don't get any reviews? You have no testimonial grabber or review campaign. A perfect online business services all eight steps of the customer journey with quality, with technical expertise. There's nothing better than a robust, completed customer journey. And if you go and start looking at companies online, you see the ones that are not the best are the ones who have not completed that. Maybe they're great at building a YouTube channel and getting lots of traffic, but they're great on Instagram. Their copywriting, their offers, their testimonials, they're all missing. And so what that happens is, is a fail in marketing, ultimately, a fail in customer experience. And it leads to drop off. It leads to a leaky funnel. It just doesn't work ultimately. And I think that whenever we struggle online, we should revisit what is the average person doing in our company's customer journey. I'm going to have to cut it off there, my man. Uh, All right. Thank you very much. Good luck with it. And let's hope to see you down here in Nayarit State at some point. But that is going to be it for today's call, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And may the algorithms be ever in your favor.